Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If p is a prime number not equal to 3, then 3 is a divisor of p squared minus 1. Now, before we get to the proof, let's get some context. To start out, we're going to say that our definition of a prime number is as follows. Suppose p is an integer such that p is greater than or equal to 2. We say p is prime if the only positive divisors of p are 1 and p. And also, we're going to use the following preliminary result in proving this theorem. Every integer has exactly one of the three forms, 3k, 3k plus 1, or 3k plus 2, for some integer k. So for example, 7 only has the form 3k plus 1, because 7 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1. Right? 7 cannot be expressed in the form 3k for some integer k, and 7 cannot be expressed in the form 3k plus 2 for some integer k. Right, that's what this means. So now let's get into proving this theorem. To start out, let's give ourselves a prime number p not equal to three. And from here, we wanna show that three is a divisor of p squared minus one. Well, let's first apply lemma one, right? We know that since p is an integer, p has exactly one of these three forms. Next, let's eliminate the possibility that p has the form 3k, right? Once we eliminate this possibility, this will tell us that p only has one of these two forms, right? So let's assume for contradiction p has the form 3k. Well, then we see that p is equal to 3 times an integer. So 3 is a divisor of p. However, since p is prime, we know that the only positive divisors of p are 1 and p. And since 3 is a positive divisor of p, this tells us that either 3 is equal to 1 or 3 is equal to p. But 1 is not equal to 3, so we must have that p is equal to 3. But this contradicts the fact that p is not equal to 3. Our assumption that p has the form 3k led us to a contradiction. So this eliminates the possibility that p has the form 3k. So we only have two possibilities left. Either p has the form 3k plus 1 or 3k plus 2 for some integer k. And so what we're going to do is we're going to prove whether or not p has this form or this form it is in fact true that three is a divisor of p squared minus one. Let's start with case one, where p has the form three k plus one. Well then, what's p squared minus one equal to? Well, we can take p and substitute it for three k plus one. So we get this. And then we know that three k plus one squared is just equal to nine k squared plus 6k plus 1. So plus 1 minus 1 cancels out, so we're left with 9k squared plus 6k. And from here, we can factor out a 3. So we see that p squared minus 1 is equal to 3 times an integer. So 3 is a divisor of p squared minus 1. And that is what we wanted to show. So this completes case 1. Now let's move on to case 2, where p has the form 3k plus 2 for some integer k. Well then, what's p squared minus 1 equal to? Well, we can take p and substitute it for 3k plus 2. And then, we know that 3k plus 2 squared is just equal to 9k squared plus 12k plus 4. 4 minus 1 gives us 3. 
and then we can factor out a 3. So we see that p squared minus 1 is equal to 3 times an integer. So 3 is a divisor of p squared minus 1. And again, that's what we wanted to show. So we see in either case, 3 is a divisor of p squared minus 1. So this must be true. So putting this all together now, we see that under the assumption p is a prime number not equal to 3, we have that 3 is in fact a divisor of p squared minus 1. So we have proven this statement. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.